Posture delic therapy is different from standard psychedelic assisted therapy because we're doing posture therapy during the psychedelic experience, right? But there's a lot of nuanced differences in terms of the goals that we're using the psychedelics for as well. In standard psychedelic assisted therapy, one of the big things that people are often going for when they're going for mental health benefits is to achieve what, what is often called an ego death or an ego dissolution. What happens during an ego death or an ego dissolution is that the person somatically, meaning the feeling of body, uh, tends to leave for a while. You are very much in a pure mind space and you are out of your body experience, changing your beliefs about yourself and all these types of things. Now, ego dissolutions can play an incredibly crucial role in posture delic therapy, okay? They can be very important in achieving the type of overall healing we're looking for, holistic healing we're looking for. However, there are proper times to go for that type uh, of goal, and then there are other times when we want to stay somatically in the body. And this comes to the psyche of someone in pain. If you're someone who is suffering from severe chronic pain all the time, you might be thinking, wait a minute, getting out of my body sounds nice. That's what I'm always trying to do is I, 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 I hate being in my body because it hurts so bad and I want to be out. You might be thinking that the psychedelics can provide an escape in that way. You're probably not quite right about that. Ego dissolutions can actually be fairly challenging from an emotional point of view. But it turns out that this isn't even advantageous for someone in chronic pain necessarily at first. It's something that we want to explore after we get you feeling comfortable being in your own body. After we get you feeling safe being in your own body. After we get you feeling like being in your own body isn't an existential punishment, okay? That is when, once we have achieved this ability to somatically be comfortable and loving of ourselves in our own body, then going into the ego dissolution realm, that doesn't become something of wanting to achieve an escape. Now that we have changed how it feels to be in our body, it is appropriate to go and start changing how we think about who we are and what we can do with this new sensation of being in our body. So we want to take this enriched somatic experience and then transfer it to the ego dissolution realm. And this is a key part of posture delic therapy. I'm telling you about this because I recently came across someone who has uh, an incredible insight into the psyche of chronic pain. And I came across them because I was looking for a way, having more control over when this transition from keeping someone grounded somatically in their body to being more into the ego dissolution aspect. I want to have more influence over that in my posture delic ceremonies. I thought back to a biology class in college and this uh, professor of mine, she was probably in her late 30s, early 40s. But when she was in college, she dated a guy who was on the swim team. They always met up after his swim practice and did what couples do. And she admitted, to, uh, she was ta telling us about how the olfactory works and how it works with the brain. And she admitted to us that even, what, 20 some odd years later, just the smell of chlorine caused the appropriate physiological responses that remind her of those times. This got me thinking to using aroma in the psychedelic experience to ground someone without the need for verbal communication. In the posture delic ceremony, I am looking to minimize, uh, in, um, in a ideal setting, I'm looking to minimize verbal communication to the maximum uh, extent possible. If I can, if I'm noticing by close observation that someone is beginning to dissociate, beginning to go into that ego realm, when I'm not ready for them to yet, when I know that they still need to uh, become more comfortable in their own body before they can get the maximum benefit of that ego dissolution, or when well, I can use smells to ground someone, that's a very powerful somatic experience to bring you back into your body. And I met uh, Florian from Aromanosis. You can find him on uh, on YouTube and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll spell it in the description of this video, Aromanosis on YouTube. He's actually just a couple hours north of me and I'm really excited to uh, try some of his products. But what I was really impressed with with Florian is his, uh, his insight into the psyche of someone in pain. He was a psychiatrist for decades and then became um, highly focused on uh, psychedelics and then beyond that, integrating aromas into the psychedelic experience 
for various purposes to guide the experience in various ways. I'm just very excited to explore more about uh, this th this crucial aspect that I, I think could be a very crucial aspect of, of the next phase, the next improvement upon posture velic therapy. I'm excited to try some of these things out. Um, Florian is going to send me some uh, some products to try because I think this is going to give people a lot more ability to modulate their posture delic experience to target their chronic pain even more acutely. So, yep, I'm excited about this.